So hello everyone on YouTube, main man Sui here, hoping everyone is doing awesome as always. And unless you've been living under a rock, what everyone is discussing now is not only the US elections, but more so the coronavirus. That has been very, very hyped in the media. And for the longest time, I thought it was just, you know, this typical exaggeration that you get from the media. You know, you had it with the swine flu, the SARS virus, that was a big deal in Asia. And uh, so I thought it's just, you know, the media trying to scare you as they do, you know, if there's a panic, they do sell a lot of newspapers and they get ad revenue on their online websites. But having looked into this now, it, it certainly looks like it's going to turn into something, something at least. Uh, I read yesterday that Italy has suspended, closed all of their schools, that includes universities, um, for the coming two weeks. And of course, China has been hit pretty hard. That's where the virus originated from what I've seen. And it's basically a pandemic now as it has spread globally. And you've, you have like 3000 deaths so far. Uh, don't get too worried yet. Although a uh, Harvard professor who's an expert on the topic said that he expects 40 to 70 percent of the adult uh, population to catch this virus within, uh, you know, the, the coming years, I'm guessing. But don't be too alarmed because the thing is, they don't have all the data on the table. There's, this is a new virus, there's not enough information. But what they are able to say from what I've seen is that it is more contagious than a normal flu and it is more deadly. But keep in mind that you really don't have to be worried unless you are... What you really have to be worried about is relatives you know, or people who are elderly. In Italy, for example, Pretty much everyone who has been taken, with very few exceptions, everyone who's been taken to intensive care, you know, uh, because they have such respiratory problems, are like 65 or people of the age of 65 and above. So people who are elderly or have pre-existing conditions, you know, like diabetes or any, you know, health defect, cancer, you know, you're sick, you're already sick. Uh, it can absolutely be a problem. So yeah, just some general information here on what seems to be going on. But again, no one knows for sure if this the coming months is going to explode in something enormous, if, if you don't already want to call it enormous, or if it's just going to fade away and the virus suddenly just doesn't catch on to the degree people think. Uh, but so, yeah, please everyone try and keep up to date on information because it seems like it's turning into something, obviously, and maybe you have some er elderly relatives or relatives who are sick. Uh, it m might be a good idea to, you know, keep track of the information from legitimate sources. So maybe not content creators like myself on YouTube, maybe look at, you know, legit experts in the medical profession or immu immunology, viruses, you know, etc. Uh, we should all keep up to date on this. So that was some general information on that from what I've seen. And this is, of course, going to affect the Tech and World Tour 2020. It's affecting everything. It's affecting the global economy. And for God's sakes, we might not even get um, the Olympics in Tokyo that are supposed to take place this year. They are talking about maybe canceling the Olympics. And of course, we've had two Tekken events now, one of them, uh, two of them talk, uh, Tokyo Masters is already delayed, uh, that's a big event, and then the mix-up, which I think is in Lyon, Lyon uh, dans la France, in France, uh, they are talking about eventually delaying it or cancelling it. So it's already affected uh, parts of the Tekken World Tour and I'm pretty certain there's a big risk it's going to do more. And again, if this turns into something big, 
uh, are we even going to get an Evo? Because, you know, the way these things spread is when you have people from all over the world come and be at it in one giant locale. You know, 13,000 people into the same locale from all around the world. You put them in into a sweaty room with bad air conditioning. <laughs> no, it's, it's pretty good actually at, at Evo. But uh, yeah, if you want to catch something, that, that's your best chance of uh, that happening, you know, or being on an airplane. Um, so uh, that's why uh, stuff like the Olympics, you know, it's pretty much a hot spot for you know, these types of virus infections. So that's why those types of events are pretty risky considering the, the circumstances. So yeah, we I guess we might not get EVO depending on how this progresses. Uh, and the Tekken World Tour is probably going to be hit pretty hard again if this turns into a huge deal. Um, and in some countries already, as I mentioned with Italy, it is already a, a huge deal. So, again, we should all just look into the information that will come out the coming weeks and certain experts are saying it might be slowing down and certain experts are almost painting a, uh, you know, doomsday picture in that, you know, half um, global population will be affected. So, um, there, there, there was another interesting... Um, piece of information on this and it was that Harvard professor who said that uh, you know 40 to 70 percent of the adult population will be infected he said that uh, you get to those numbers because where, where you had these uh, viruses you know like SARS that everyone was so terrified of and that it you know it's we think it will turn into this huge global pandemic and it never did because People who got SARS got really, really sick. So they were easily identifiable. And as they got so sick, they knew they needed treatment. And they, they were not walking about, you know, in the city or at their workplace. They stay, stayed home sick. So you could contain it in a way uh, pretty properly. Whereas with the corona is that apparently a lot of people who get this, they only get like cold-like symptoms. And some people don't get symptoms at all. You don't even know you have it. And that, that's how it can spread, you know, to a degree where SARS couldn't. Because if you don't know you have it, you'll just be, you know, doing uh, your everyday things. Going to work, you know, pick up your kid at school and, that, and or travel, you know, and that's how it spreads. So it's pretty devious um, in that way. Um, but again, we, we don't have uh, all the information on the table, so we'll just see how it plays out, but yeah, well, we'll just see how hard this hits, you know, Tekken World Tour, all the other events, worldwide, global economy, um, but so just FYI, Tokyo Masters delayed, um, mix up in Lyon, um, delayed. And we'll see what other tournaments within the few coming days or weeks will probably get postponed or cancelled. Uh, depending on how, on how it progresses, of course.